Hey y'all, happy Sunday to everyone. I hope everyone's day is going great. I just got on here today just to drop a little nugget of inspiration. I was with my dad on yesterday and um, he was we was doing something and he said to me, I said, Daddy, be nice, be nice. And he said, baby girl, I was nice for a long time, but you ain't never noticed that nice guys finish last. It's the ones that's not nice that get everything. And I kept thinking about that thing, thinking about that thing, thinking about that thing. And I'm like, Daddy, that's, you know, that's not, that's not right. You know, that's not the way to be. And I just want to encourage somebody today. Sometimes it may feel like nice guys finish last, but that's not so. That is not so. I don't believe that. I don't agree with that. I feel like just because, you know, somebody chooses to live their life that way or chooses to behave that way, that is an example of them. That is not an example of you. Things that are done to you, that are said to you from other people, sometimes hurt people hurt people, you know? And I really believe that. And I don't think that nice guys finish last. Because, you know, a person can be nasty if they want to be to you, but it'll eat at them to mistreat somebody that's nice. Because when they get out into the world and they start seeing things and being exposed to things, they think about that nice person that was good to them, that, you know, gave them all that they looking for now in life, you know? And you take pride in being a good person. Don't let nobody change you. Circumstances are gonna come, things are gonna happen that are going to make you feel like, you know, maybe nice guys do finish last, but that's not so. Don't become the things of the world. You know, the Bible speaks to that. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. Don't let nobody change your heart, even if you've been heartbroken, broken. Don't let nobody change your mind, even if they don't think like you. You know, don't let nobody change your thoughts, even if sometimes their thoughts are not your thoughts. You continue to be genuinely you. Don't, you don't have to be what other people are. Take pride in being a good person. It's nothing wrong with being a nice person. I, I honestly, you know, and don't get me wrong, there is times when it does seem like nice guys finish last. That people can be so nasty to you and stuff. And you just have to take it. But vengeance is mine, says the Lord. And I really believe that, you know. I believe that God is going to take care of everything. God is going to see you through everything, you know. Even if you may feel like at that moment, like, God, you know, I feel like I'm losing. Sometimes you're not losing. It may seem like that at that moment, but you're not losing. God has you covered. God sees everything. One thing I know for sure, you can't handle how people treat you, but you can handle how you treat others. That's all God requires of you, to be a good person. You know, you, you, I'm not saying we're going to be perfect because I'm not perfect. Neither are you perfect. We're not ever going to be perfect. If we was perfect, you know, it wouldn't be no need for God or grace. But do your best to be good, to do good. Because when you leave this world, the deeds of yourself is what follows you. That's what people remember of you. They're not going to remember, you know, oh, she did this and she did that. Somebody going to remember the nice time that you took the time out to just see about them, to call them, to even when you could have cursed them out, you did it. Even when, you know, they owed you an apology, you didn't hold that against them. You still forgave them anyway and acted accordingly. Don't let nobody be the cause of you going to hell. And that's to be quite honest, you know. Don't let nobody be the cause of you going to hell. Don't believe that nice guys finish last because they don't because you will have the peace that surpasses all understanding you know and that's what i want to leave y'all with y'all today nice guys don't finish last what god has for you he will do for you and he will give you all of the abundance if you do right and do what he you know calls you to do and don't worry about people people are gonna be people you can't change that you it may seem like nice guys finish last it may seem like you know the people that are nasty you know get further in life that's not true that is not true y'all i'm i'm a witness to that like i've had some things happen to me and been through some things and i'm like god you know it's people worse than me why am i being punished like this and it's honestly i think god was telling me because you knew better and that's to be quite frankly you know some people do things and they don't know no better but god looked at me and he was like you knew better that's why i'm disciplining you I, the the other ones they already you know going astray don't let nobody make you go astray don't let nobody change your heart. Don't let nobody change the person that you are because 
you are only accountable for how you are. Let your character speak volumes. People really see when you could have acted up and you did it. When you could have showed out and you did it. When you could have, you know, exposed certain things and you did it. When you could have tore some things up and you did it. You know, when you chose the high road. Always choose the high road. Always. Because I feel like you'll always win at that. You'll, you'll feel better as a person. You'll feel good as an individual. Knowing that you didn't stoop down to the level of those that have to do mean things. To feel like they doing something, you know. So... My word of encouragement today is don't ever feel like nice guys finish last because they don't. God has reward for everybody and God has reward for you for doing just what he asked you to do. I love y'all. I hope y'all stay encouraged. Happy Sunday. I'll see y'all in the next video.